Morning, YouTube. It's Friday, 3rd of February. This is all. Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear about Tamron Hall. She's leaving MSNBC. NBC. And I don't know about Dateline. Dateline, is, is that one of their products also? I'm not sure. But she also does those uh, some of those uh, true, true crime stories for uh, Dateline. There it is. And uh, Dateline on OWN. So she's a very busy woman. I always liked her. She's a very professional woman. I used to wonder how she could do so much because she she would be in the morning. She would be on on um, she had a full hour segment with uh, the Today, Today Show, which I wasn't aware of. I didn't I don't watch that show, but uh, I watch her every day on MSNBC. She does an extremely professional job, uh, and I watch her also on Dateline on on, on a lot of those. True crime, sorry, one of my, my my guilty pleasures. I like those. I love those. Watching crimes begins being solved. Anyway, so apparently, this, what's going on with these news programs? It's a lot of shakeup. I know Fox was going losing their mind. They fired uh, three of their top anchors. Three, I think two men also. Anyway. Uh, uh, just kind of blindsided me. I never expected her to disappear from the network, and they do these things so quickly. I mean, she's off the air already. But I, I, I have every confidence she's going to be in another contract very, very soon. If she's not already, already, if she's not already negotiating something, I mean, she's just an extremely talented woman. She's very professional. The way she does her program uh, was up with the best of them, in my opinion. Uh, her morning show, I never missed it. But apparently, this woman, uh, Megan Kelly, she was a high-rated uh, anchor on Fox. Now, apparently, one of their highest-rated, uh, highest-ranking anchors on Fox. So I don't know how that's going to work because if she was high-rated on Fox, what in the hell is MSNBC uh, audience going to do with her? Are they going to take to her? After she's been a, a conservative all of these years on Fox, and then just just immediately switch over to her as now a Democrat, I always assume that these uh, these anchors, on, particularly on these political type stations, actually believed in what they were saying. I guess I guess it doesn't mean anything. They're just doing a job, just like reality TV. Anyway, so uh, I, I imagine I mean it's done, all done in contracts. Megan Kelly, she she probably insisted upon having the Today Show because they were wooing her after she left Fox. Uh, MSNBC wanted her, so I guess the big the parent company would be NBC. So that would be the biggest part would be Today Show, and then she's also going going to get the uh, a show on MSNBC. But it's probably in the contract where she could pick and choose like that way. And they told Taryn Hall that she's out and Megyn Kelly is in. And they, they said they offered her millions of dollars. These guys make a lot of money. They make. I just learned that uh, uh, Rachel Maddow makes $7 million a year. $7 million a year? <laughs> God. And if she is the top rated, just Megyn uh, Kelly, damn, it's got to be tens of millions of dollars. So Tamron's going to do do well, but I, I suspect that she's, uh, Megyn Kelly came in there, or had her people come in there and say, well, I want that spot on today's show. It's also, it's part of the contract. One show on this, one show on that. And uh, they bumped her. And so uh, it was said that she, they offered her, uh, NBC offered her a lot of money to stay in a new contract. But she probably took it as an emotion. You know, and she was doing so well with them. Why would she take the demotion? And why would she let someone else uh, come in on her uh, and just take her show from her? So she said, no, I don't want it. So we'll be seeing, seeing uh, her on another network probably in a very short time. Unless you want to take some time in between. Don't take too long, though, Tamron Hall. Remember what happened with Brian Gumbo? I just saw he's on, I guess he's got a sports station or whatever, but uh, it, it was not the same. Uh, anyway, I just, I'm sorry to see her, see her go. Uh, hopefully that uh, the Dateline uh, contract is not linked to, to MBC, 
and hopefully she'll still be on OWN. She's on. She does a uh, real life crime uh, show also, and she'll still be on there. We'll still be able to see her, so she won't disappear from our consciousness, uh, and then show up somewhere else. So it's sad. So now we got Megan Kelly. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know about that girl. Give them all a chance. I don't know a damn thing about Megan Kelly. I know she don't like Trump, so that, that gives her a whole lot of points in that column. She's coming on with a, with a little bit of street cred. <laughs> My best wishes for you, Megan. If they make it, you, all, you guys are bringing that kind of money, and she's on three different shows at the same time. I don't think she's going to be hurting uh, a, a whole lot. From, she, we won't be seeing her in the unemployment line. Put it like that. So, uh, whatever the next phase is for her, best of luck to you, girl. I enjoyed your show. I think you're one of the best. And I'm not going to get, I, I, I went on here before I did this thing. I said, well, let me go and see what's going on. And uh, I guess the uh, African-American uh, uh, Broadcasters Association, a few other organizations, you know, and of course, people on YouTube calling it a racist move by, by MSNBC or NBC saying they're whitewashing the show. I don't think it has anything to do with race at all in this case. And I don't think I have a problem with saying if I did think it was. Uh, uh, MSNBC, that's the one I watch every day. No one's going to be more liberal than them. I mean, did they put gay people on, on, on television full time? First one to do that. I mean, they have several. They even had Jonathan Capehart's wedding on, on his... <laughs> Or a snippet of his wedding on, on this, the network. Rachel and Al and Joy and they just got a great lineup of, of, of diversity on, on that uh, network. So I would never accuse them of that. So I don't think it's, it's racial motivated, racially motivated at all. I think they had a big star who was probably demanding certain things. Of course, she would come over there. She has a right to do that. You know, it's, it's, it's all business. Just like Tamara has a right to say, no, I'm not. I'm not uh, going to take a demotion or go to some other time. I mean, she was in the, top, the best time slots. Uh, no, I'm. I'm not going to uh, just accept anything from you. So I'll go somewhere else. So hopefully it works out for everybody. But I want to acknowledge her. I love her, Tamara. She looks just like my sister. <laughs> That's why I like her so much. <laughs> All right. Maybe I'll come out here a little bit with something else. But uh, goodbye. For the moment, uh, Tamron, thanks for your service. <laughs> All right, later.